All right, so before we start this one, we, there's a formula that we need to know, and that is that principal times rate is equal to the interest earned. Now, principal is the money that you start with. The rate is always as a uh, decimal. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down. We have account one, and then we have account two, and lastly, we have the money that was earned. So the money that was earned is probably the easiest part. It was $317. Now, for each of the accounts, I need both money, then I need the rate. And I want to add those together. All right, so let's put in what I know. I know that the money for account one, and that was my 1900 don't know my rate yet, plus the money in my account too was $2,300, and again, we don't know the rate yet, and all of that is equal to 317 Now, all we know with this, and this is the key statement, is that the second account pays a high 1% higher interest rate. So this is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm just going to let the rate for my first account equal x, and the rate for the second account is going to be x plus, now it's not 1, be really careful, it's 1%. So that's where it gets really, really tricky. We have to change that into a decimal, and 1% as a decimal is 0 0.01. So now we're just going to go through and solve for x. And when we solve for x, that's going to be in account one, the one account that has the $1,900, right? So um, that gives me my 1,900x plus 2330x plus 23 is equal to 317. Combine my x's. 4200x, and I'm going to do this in one step. I'm going to subtract 23 from this side of the equation as well. So that leaves me with 294. Divide both sides of by 4200, and I'm left with x is equal to 0.07. All right, so that means my rate for account, which was the first one that had the $1,900 in it, is 7%. And the 7, because they are asking you for to input it as a percent, all you need to do is put in that 7%. The second account, as we said before, was just one more, so the second account would just be at 8%.